Welcome to Bill's Burger Reviews. It's gonna be fucking sick. Hello, you magnificent bastards. It's Friday, we've made it yet again, and welcome to another episode of Billy's Badass Burger Review. And I was at work talking to my team leader, Andy Hardeman. Here's a shout out for you. And he said a right of passage of living in Poole is to go visit the Night Owl, which is a burger joint in Branksome, which happens to be around the corner from my house. So how could I not? But let's dive in to the Night Owl. Right, so I looked at the menu and it was quite interesting. And they had something that is very rare to me that I've never seen in a burger before. Who's putting pineapple on these things? So I've decided to go for the cheese and pineapple burger. And first off, let me just mention, you can choose any size you want. There's just the normal burger, there's the large burger, and then there's the mighty burger. This, this is fucking insane. This is, it's not even a restaurant in there, it's literally like a little bar on the side of the street. But it smells fucking delicious. And the service, the guys were friendly as anything. Really just happy to do their job and passionate about it. And that's half of what matters about these reviews. Jesus Christ, the sun is in my eyes. I'm sorry. Right, it's presentation. Wrapped in foil. And I like that. It gives a street food element, which I really do appreciate. It makes me feel like I'm in, like, Sri Lanka or something. You know what I mean? Anyway, that bun, perfect. Nice, soft bun. Ripped on the edges. And it's just... No mess, no mess, just bish bash bosh, straight ego, here's your burger, sorted. And oh, folks, folks, now let me tell you something about me and burgers, right? I love it when a patty is flat like that. Because you just know that each, each millimetre of it is just intense flavour. There's no space for, like, mildness, if you know what I mean. I love it. So, obviously, if you've got the beef patty... Mm, the bun, it softs anything. The cheese, and then like a pineapple inside it. So, not bad. Get a good look at that. And it's hot to the touch as well. They cook it right in front of you on the grill proper. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, folks. That's good. That's like a burger you get at the fairground, but like with some gourmet twists to it, gourmet street food twist to it, which I do appreciate. And also the pineapple, it accommodates the flavour really well. It's sort of a refresher while you bite into the beef. If you just had beef, bacon, and that, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big supporter of the big supporter of the cow of the beef bacon combo. But if you put a fruit or something like a tomato in there, the whole point of it is to refresh it, and the pineapple does that as well. Interesting twist, but it fucking works, I tell you. Simple, easy to handle. Fucking, I'll have to give that. That's an 8 out of 10 bills. It's not the best thing I've had in my life, but... It does the job and it's pleasant. I bet if I were pissed and eating this, I'd be giving it fucking 12 bills out of 10, to be honest with you. Insane. Well done, Night Owl. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be coming back. I'll be coming back. But the thing is, there's nowhere to get pissed around here. There's like a pub down there, but it's like an old boy pub. It's like one of those where you walk in and everyone's, to, everyone's having a pint and they're like, Who the fuck is that guy? You know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't feel welcome. Like, I think it's just like, if you live in a flat, Friday night, you've got a few mates around. Uh, what what do you utes do nowadays? They have a bit of coke and that. Like, not not like the drink coke. Like, have, get the bag in, have a few tins of fucking Nuki Brown. And then they must go down here and have a fucking burger from the Night Owl. And I don't blame them. Absolutely incredible. Night Owl. You've done a great service, and if you're ever in Poole or Branksome, be sure to visit, especially if you're pissed. And you know me, folks. I, I would disappoint you if I didn't get a side, wouldn't I? So I've got myself some jalapeno cheese bites, breaded. And look at that. Golden. Almost orange-like. Like, just like me. Now, there's a guy looking at me eating me jalapenos, but I don't give a fuck. Right, so, crispy, 
crunchy, solid on the outside. Let's have a go. Mmm. Interesting. So the jalapeno is like right on the top. And the like cheese part is on the bottom. They're separated within the croquette. That's what it is. It's just a croquette. This is just tapas. But cooked well. Pleasant appetizer. Not too spicy. But is that really the end of the world? And yeah, that's a good ass croquette. It's no goo, John, but it's a good croquette. I rate it. And just to give you folks an insight onto what else the Night Owl has to offer, look at this. These are just sides. You can get a whole fucking chip butty on the side. We're living the dream and we don't realise it. Black pudding, as an extra, you are pulling my willy in. Right, so, poo review. Well, I had it. It took about an hour to pass through me, which was quite nice. Relaxed, plenty of time to get on the crapper. But it, I, I could even do a crossword before I had to go to the toilet. It, brilliant. And I even looked at my poo afterwards, and there was a bit of pineapple in it. It was nice and tropical, it was great. I feel like I'm doing Caribbean shit. It's, it's fantastic. Almost as fantastic as the night owl itself. Fucking class. Pleasant. Pleasant. I liked it. Fucking brilliant. Have a nice evening. Oh, I'm going to continue enjoying my tropical poos. It doesn't even smell all the way like shit. It smells like pineapples. It's brilliant.